think in our way, the goal is not to be smart and accomplished. The goal is to be strong. Uh, I think our people would have said, you must stand up for yourself. And they didn't care so much if you had letters after your name or if you had a, a degree, but that you were curious and that you did your learning, like our way of, of being and knowing. I think one of the lessons that I've, that has taken the longest for me to learn um, is that we, we all stand on a whole bunch of people's shoulders. When I was young, I used to think, oh, I'm the one who got me where I am. Now I'm older and I can see just how many people um, help me along the way. My gosh, the, the cost to our parents to bring us up. Uh, the number of people who worked with me at the Native Ed Center to, you know, it, as an actor and when I was uh, studying acting for like, I think it was 16 months I was there. Uh, how much time and energy to go to school for that long. And then of course my, my medical education took years and years and years and literally hundreds of doctors and teachers. When I was a boy, I really had no idea uh, that uh, Aboriginal people could be actors. I never uh, thought about being a doctor ever when I was a kid, but certainly my dad said, um, one day you'll be in charge, you can count on that. And he would say that, one day you'll be in charge, you can count on that. And even if it just meant being in charge of your backyard or being in charge of your little family or in charge of yourself, like you, you had to do that. One day you had to step up and do that. I really think about um, traditional leadership when I think of leadership. I don't think of executive leadership or academic leadership. I think of our way of being um, a strong person um, a person who holds up others and who has the interests of others before their own. And of course, George Manuel absolutely typified that. I'm absolutely honored to even just be in the same sentence with him. So uh, I'm very touched by, by this award.